What's up, guys? It's Cam here. Let me guys, let me talk to you guys about WEC 44. My predictions. Um, the undercards, the undercard fights are um, going to be in the sidebar, so you can just look at those. Sorry if I look kind of tired. It's 12:20 right now, so um, I had to get these out because the fights are tonight. So the first fight of the night is Danny Castillo versus Shane Roller. Um, Danny Castillo has got some good. He's, he's going to be well conditioned for this fight. He said he's been working on his condition a lot. He's a very good wrestler. He's a very decorated wrestler. A lot of people haven't seen that yet, but Danny Castillo is a very decorated wrestler. Um, but you know that's how. That's, so the wrestling is what got Danny Castillo into the UFC. But he has worked on his striking. He's now a very powerful striker as well, and he doesn't really want to go to the ground in this fight because uh, you know his striking has improved a lot. But he's going up against Shane Roller, and uh, Shane Roller was a um, wrestler for I believe Oklahoma Oklahoma State, excuse me. Um, and in the MMA, he's learned a lot of judo throws, and um, that's helped him out a lot. Um, he's got very vicious ground and pound too, so uh, I'm going to take Shane Roller unanimous decision. Um, but it could go either way. You know, Danny Castillo could come out throwing and control the pace and he could win so I'm still going to stick with Shane Roller unanimous decision um, the second fight of the night Rob Ma Razor Rob McCoy versus Karen Derbedian sorry I'm not pronouncing it right um, you know Ro Razor Rob McCoy is the veteran he's a tough guy um, just came off a broken hand in his last fight he looked like shit he looked really bad against Hicks so you know um he looked really bad, so, um, and his opponent, Kara Darabijan, uh, he's a judo fighter, um, it's gonna be his first big fight, and, you know, uh, big time, so, um, he's also got good ground game, but what I think, uh, what I think they're doing is I think they're bringing in Karen Darabijan, and I think, I'm gonna take Rob McCullough on this fight, because I think they're bringing a guy with a good record in to boost Rob McCullough's um, rep if he wins here. So I'm taking Rob McCullough's second round TKO. Just a boost. So, Rob McCullough's second round TKO. Um, the co-main event, <clears throat> um, Leonard Garcia versus Manny Gambirian. Um, Leonard Garcia is a very powerful striker, and he's going to be looking for the He's going to be looking for the knockout really early. Um, you know, he's got some very powerful strikes. He's a very, very powerful guy. He's going up against Manny Gar Gamburian. Manny Gamburian, um, he's a wrestler. You know, he's, he goes to the takedowns, good submissions, and he's got very vicious ground and pound. Um, this is a very hard one to call because both these guys looked really bad in their last fights. But um, I'm going to take Leonard Garcia um, by uh, TKO in the second round. Um, but, again, this one could go either way, too. And in the main event, we have Mike Brown versus Jose Aldo. Mike Brown's looked very beastly in the WEC so far. Um, his last two fights against Uriah Faber were both the good wins. Um, He's a tough guy. He's very powerful. He's very good on the ground. He's very good standing up. He's just looked good all the way around the WEC. He's going up against um, Jose Aldo. Jose Aldo is very powerful. Came off a very good win against Cub Swanson. Uh, Eight-second knockout by a flying knee, I believe. I believe it was Cub Swanson. I could be wrong. But, um, um, you know, this fight could go either way, too. But um, if Mike Brown can control the pace of the fight from the very beginning... Um, then he's gonna definitely take it, but you know, just watch the fight. And if if Jose, you know, the only thing Mike Brown really needs to look out for is uh, getting knocked out in the second or first round. And if he can avoid those, you know, then it's gonna be good. But you know, we haven't really seen Jose Aldo on the bat on his back. But in previous fights, I've looked up. He does look like he could do good, he could do work on the ground and on top position. So um, I'm I'm gonna stick with Mike Brown on this one. I think it's going to go all five rounds. I think Mike Brown's going to keep his belt by unanimous decision. Um, so, um, yeah. Uh, Mike Brown, unanimous decision for the main event tonight. And that's my picks. So, um, 
Peace out, guys, and uh, good night, and watch the fights tomorrow. Live Las Vegas on Versus.